Hey, welcome to another lovely day here in the Pacific Northwest. And you know, like many days here in the Pacific Northwest today, it's raining. Well, with the amount of rain that we typically get, you know, it really becomes important to uh, somehow deflect the water that's running off of the roof of your RV onto the ground before it has a chance to run down the side of your RV. And, you know, we all know that can cause discoloration and black streaking and things like that. And a lot of folks, uh, you know, pick up these things like these little down spouts that you can get at uh, Walmart or your RV store, and they clip onto your gutter and uh, can deflect some of the water. Now I've used these in the past, but I found that they don't really work that well on my RV, and there's really limited uh, places where you can actually clip these on so that they could be effective. So I've come up with a different system that I've been using for years and it works really well and it's a nice little DIY hack that anybody can do really cheap and I'm going to show you uh, how that works and it's I think you're gonna like it Now all you're really going to need to build these little contraptions is to go to your uh, hardware store and pick up a couple packs of uh, these little um, alligator clips. And I picked these up from uh, Home Depot and they're just a few bucks. And also what you're going to need is some uh, maybe household wire. Uh, just I have some leftover uh, laying around in the garage that I used. So you simply cut a small section of wire and crimp it into the end of uh, these alligator clips. You can simply just find these spots along your RV where the water tends to run off, even in places where you would typically put uh, one of the uh, downspouts, and simply clip it on. And you know the water finds a place to flow. Basically, is what you're trying to find an easy path for that water to flow, and you'll see that it just tends to just run right off the end of this wire. Now there are other places beyond just the uh, gutter areas that run along the side of the RV that uh, I've noticed that water tends to run off. Like this uh, spot on the top of my awning, the water tends to run along the awning uh, roll and just kind of run down the side once it meets the end of that awning. So I clipped one of these things on just to the little end of the awning and figured out where that water was going to go and it found that wire and uh, redirected that water away from the RV so it doesn't run down the side below that spot. Now keep in mind that if you keep your RV outside for you know a lot of the year, especially if you get a lot of wet weather like we do, you're still bound to get some black streaking or discoloration in places. What I do is I keep a bottle of this uh, black streak remover handy so it works really well when you find those uh, gray spots or dark spots you can simply spray it on and wipe it off and it does a pretty good job. Pick this up at Walmart. Also another tip is to simply keep the roof of your RV as clean as possible, cleaning it throughout the year because a lot of the buildup and uh, grime that's actually on your roof uh, when it rains, that's actually what's running off to the side of your RV and causing a lot of that discoloration. So keeping that roof clean is a really good way to help minimize that. And I've put together other videos here. I put it in a playlist that you can click on right here if you want more tips on how to keep your RV clean. And if you guys found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.